Hi everyone, I'm here at the barn with Fort Point. And um, Fort Point is a thoroughbred. He's off the racetrack. He's really old now, he's about 27. But he's a happy boy, he was rescued. I'll link the video of Lydia Hibby doing um, a reading on him also. But today we're gonna talk about him and why horses crib. He is a cribbing horse. And what that does is you'll see in the video, they um, grab things and pull back and suck air because it sends a rush of endorphins up to their brain. So it gives them like a high. It's kind of like doing whippets on a whipped cream can. Um, we've all heard of that maybe. But um, anyway, there's things you can do to stop cribbing, like cribbing collars. We tried that, but then he incessantly just started weaving back and forth. So what happens with weaving is then he is going to damage his legs. And um, <clears throat> so we decided the best thing for him was to let him enjoy his cribbing. I've got his gate open because I'm just in here. But um, to enjoy his cribbing because um, the side effects from that were less damaging than a horse who has leg injury from weaving back and forth. So let's go look at what he does. Right now he's eating hay. Um, he doesn't um, crib as much in his stall as he does when he's out. Let's go see what he does when he's out in the arena. We believe that Fort Point's cribbing started from stress when he was a racehorse at the track. This behavior led to a habit that is now ingrained in him. Various methods were tried to alleviate the cribbing, but this led to constant weaving that would damage his legs long term and a horse cannot survive with injured legs. So weighing the options, the long-term tooth damage is the lesser of evils because we can always adapt his feeding program. He is a very happy horse and enjoys lots of time with his herd.